Ellie Fields with Juva, and I will give you healthy choices for a healthy life. Kelly Frederick, Studio Fit 50 Plus. Teresa Shepherd, Care to You Teledentistry Services, Convenience Without Compromise. Jan Spolina, a wellness warrior, teacher, and coach with doTERRA Essential Oils. Hi, today I'm going to share with you why I became involved with doTERRA Essential Oils, um, what makes our oils stand out in quality so far above others, and also I'm going to share with you some special tips that you can use to help your student be more successful this school year. So I'm Jan Spolina. I'm a wellness warrior, teacher, and coach with doTERRA Essential Oils. I help people find simple, natural, and inexpensive solutions to help their bodies work the way they were designed to, allowing them to live their best lives. My background is in education. Uh, I've spent 40 years teaching, both in public and private schools. Um, I was always interested, though, in herbs and preventing illnesses and natural healing. That led to over 30 years of experience with essential oils. Um, my daughter, now 32, never had a prescription or an over-the-counter medication until she was in her late teens. I was literally her doctor. Now, I don't recommend that for you. You definitely need to go see your physician when it's needed. But about seven years ago, I found doTERRA essential oils, and I quickly discovered how effective they were and how they worked so much more quickly with less product than anything else I'd ever used. Um, when I shared my results and I shared the oils with friends and family, their results were so fantastic that I just feel compelled to share with people who are open to this idea. So I've traded math for essential oils and I still teach. Um, because I love to teach, I offer free classes or private consults to make sure that my customers get their health goals met and their needs met. Um, I also provide ongoing education um, so that you're empowered to take care of your family with these easy natural solutions. And I'm really passionate about changing lives in a much more um, impactful way. I'd like to talk a little bit about doTERRA now. Technologies made it possible for doTERRA to produce very pure and potent essential oils. In fact, they're certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils, and they can be used during pregnancy and also on infants when they're heavily diluted. Um, the quality is a complete process, and it starts with sourcing. So doTERRA has a method for sourcing that we call co-impact sourcing. We source our oils from all over the world um, and we pay a fair price to the growers, harvesters, and distillers. Um, where the plant grows indigenously is where the rainfall and the soil and the climate are going to allow it to have the most potent uh, characteristics that are gonna help for therapeutic benefits. Um, our growers often have some generational wisdom about the plants as well. Now every oil is tested at third-party labs and in-house to the, compare the results and also to guarantee the premium quality. The testing guarantees the oils are free from toxins, contaminants, and microorganisms and also that they have the proper um, presence of desired therapeutic effects. To get a little bit uh, tech nerdy with you, uh, they do GCMS testing, optical rotation, specific gravity, refractive index, uh, chiral testing, carbon-14 testing, and more. And to be honest with you, I don't understand all of that chemical stuff. I just know that these oils work amazing and we get great results with them. Um, and you know, the details are important to doTERRA and that's why that's what makes their oils so safe and effective. So for those of you who are unaware of what essential oils are, they're the concentrated extracts from plants, um, very concentrated. You know, and plants were our original medicine thousands of years ago. So these oils can come from the stems, the roots, the leaves, the flower, the bark, various parts of the plant. And they are actually 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. So how they can be used, uh, first of all, essential oils can be used aromatically, and that is um, very simple. You can just put a drop in the palm of your hand and then cup your face, 
and inhale and it goes right to your amygdala and it's where your emotional control center is so they can really help with emotional issues um, which is kind of important this these days um, you can also use a diffuser to um, send this oil into the air that can help calm a home it can lift the mood and it also can get rid of some of the microorganisms that are floating around in our air um, as a teacher I used essential oils often in my classroom. I used them in the mornings to kind of call, to wake the kids up in the mornings because they were kind of groggy and you know you could tell they were sleepy. So I used a specific oil then. Um, I also used another oil, uh, especially in the winter time because I had a lot of students coughing and sneezing in my face all day long. So in order to keep those germs down, I used another oil. After lunch, we needed a different oil because after lunch, anybody that's in a classroom knows they tend to be a little bit hyper. So I would calm them down so that they could actually focus and study. And then I even had a blend that I used in my room for students who had um, learning challenges and, and problems focusing. So I had a lot of experience using these in the classroom. So the first way is aromatically. The second way is topically. You can apply these oils to the area of your body that needs the, that has the, you have a concern about. They enter the bloodstream in 30 seconds. Within 20 minutes, they're spread throughout your whole body. Um, it's really good. You can put the oils on the place that's affected. If you have a sore elbow, you'd put it on your elbow. If your neck's bothering you, you would apply it there. You can also put them on the bottom of your feet because you have a lot of open pores there. And I'd recommend diluting them with some fractionated coconut oil. It actually helps that oil get deep into the tissue and absorb into your body rather than evaporate because they are so volatile. The third way that you can use essential oils is internally, and doTERRA is the only brand of oil that I would recommend using that way. Please don't assume that it's safe with other oils because purity varies from different oils. When ours are safe for consumption, it is clearly marked on the bottle that it's safe to ingest that oil. So once you're assured of the quality, you can put a few drops in water or tea. It's one of my favorite ways to use it. I put it in my water to make sure that I get the recommended amount of water each day. Um, you can also use them for cooking. So if I have a recipe that calls for oregano, I'm going to grab my oil rather than an herb because I know I'm going to get some type of benefit from that oregano oil as well. And they can be used um, as a supplement for targeted wellness as well. So let's talk about back to school. Um, I've noticed one challenge. I, I still substitute teach because I really enjoy the students. And so I substitute teach for friends of mine. And I noticed things are still the same. Students are still groggy first thing in the morning. And I know from my daughter, getting them up in the morning is sometimes a challenge. So we have a couple of blends, um, Citrus Bliss, Elevation, and Balance in particular, that are great to help them wake up in the mornings. Um, and there's a really simple method for, a, or a simple recipe, I should say. It's called Get Out of Bed Recipe. And you simply use peppermint oil and wild orange oil, put it in a roller bottle with some fractionated coconut oil, and apply to the inside of the wrist. It'll work wonders. Even when I use it at home, I don't even put it on my husband, but he wakes up just because I've put it on my wrists. Um, so now that you have our students awake, let's consider some personal care products. Um, we have a product designed to help toxins, uh, to help avoid the toxins that you find in most toothpaste. Uh, go ahead and look at the warning label that you have on your toothpaste when you buy your next bottle or next tube of toothpaste. Um, and then we also have a skincare product for some older students who have challenges with skin breakouts. So we can help with the brushing the teeth and washing the face, and then we get to the food part, to the breakfast. And as a teacher, I saw a lot of students eating a lot of junk food. You know, candy, chips, and soda has very little nutritional content to help the content to help their brains work. Um, so I always recommend the doTERRA nutritional supplements at breakfast time. These supplements were specifically designed for children to give them all the whole, whole food derived nutrients that they need, as well as the omega-3s that are so necessary to brain growth and health. The A to Z chewable is a proprietary formula of ingredients developed with children in mind and also for adults that don't like to take capsules. Our IQ Mega takes the fishy taste out of fish oil supplements and puts a fresh orange taste in there. It's the wild orange essential oil and it makes it a great tasting and easy to swallow omega-3 supplement. This has a thousand milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. 
a lot of students, a lot of people in general, I guess, eat fast foods. And when that happens, your omega-6 and your omega-3s become imbalanced in your body. And it can be really unhealthy, so it's important to get that omega-3 in, especially for children's brain health. These vitamins are not full of junk and sugar like a lot of kids' vitamins out there today. So it really feels great to give them something that's good for them. You might even be surprised at how their behavior and, and how they're even able to think better in school. So with the return back to the classroom, your students are really exposed to a lot of germs, so their immune systems could use a boost, right? There's many recipes for homemade do-it-yourself, but doTERRA provides us with um, something called On Guard and also another one called Protect. So it's really simple in a roller bottle to roll that on the bottom of your student's feet every morning. It'll give a little boost to their immune system so they're not sick every other week and they're not missing a lot of school. It does get absorbed very quickly if you put it on the bottom of their feet. Um, protection for your immune system actually starts in the gut and so doTERRA has a children's probiotic called PB Assist Junior. It's a powdered probiotic supplement. It's designed for children and adults who have trouble swallowing capsules. Um, it includes five billion live cells with six different strains of probiotics. Um, so it's specifically designed for children but I'll tell you what, I love this and I have a lot of friends who use this instead of the adult version too. It's really effective. Um, and I regularly get asked by parents and, and teachers as well how to um, help when seasons start changing and it really um, works on people's immune system. You get it, It's compromised. Um, my answer besides making sure that you get proper nutrition is to use oils in the diffuser because they're so effective. A really simple diffuser blend to help with changing of the seasons and any kind of seasonal discomforts would be two drops of lemon two drops of lavender and two drops of peppermint in a diffuser. It's very effective for seasonal issues. So back to school and student engagement. Our children are often overstimulated due to the many activities and things going on, distractions going on in their life. Parents can help their kids focus with these ideas. Make sure they eat breakfast. Make sure they're packed up for school the day before. Um, make time for play and physical activity. Um, have to make sure they're being social and use some specific essential oils. There are many do-it-yourself recipes, again, for this as well, but doTERRA makes two specifically for focus. One is called In Tune, the other one is Thinker. Again, they can be diffused in the ear or you can apply them topically on pulse points, the back of the neck or the bottom of the feet. Um, I did use In Tune a lot in my classroom, again, for those students with focus challenges. So it also should be your goal that your child is not overtired or it really will impact their performance in the classroom. I always recommend the following to parents. Have a bedtime routine. Check for eight to 10 hours of rest time and make sure that your student gets that time. Um, get your child moving during the day. Um, proper nutrition is a must also. Limit sugar and get rid of those processed foods. But in addition to that, your student might still have a little bit of trouble relaxing in the evening. And doTERRA has a, a lot of, again, do-it-yourself recipes that we can use. But doTERRA makes Serenity. It's an amazing oil to put. It can be used many different ways. And it's also really good for um, anxiety. And so it can be used for calming during the day as well. So we do have a children's kit with properly diluted oils. They're ready to roll and, and they're really easy directions. The nice thing about it is students actually learn how they can help themselves, help themselves physically, mentally, and emotionally. So it really empowers them. You know, doTERRA doesn't prevent or cure any illnesses. The products simply help the body heal itself. The oils won't take the place of proper nutrition and good hydration and good rest and getting rid of toxins and reducing stress. The oils will help with all those things though. They are effective tools that can save you time and money and give you some peace of mind that at the very least you can help with discomfort and often begin the healing process. So since my way of life has changed so dramatically since using essential oils, I've made it my responsibility to share those powerful products with many, as with many people as possible. This has become my why, and it truly is an honor to introduce essential oils into your life. Thank you for watching. I encourage you to give your students the best possible chance to have a successful year by trying doTERRA essential oils. Um, text me or email me to schedule a personalized 
consultation with no obligation. If you mention this show, I'll even have a special gift for you. Every journey begins with a single step. Are you ready to take yours? Here at Modesto Junior College, we can help you begin. The college offers a variety of programs and opportunities, including financial aid. MJC students can transfer to four-year colleges after graduating. Our instructors will prepare you for a successful future in the field of your choice. If you want a quality, affordable education with unlimited horizons, make Modesto Junior College your first step. My name is Teresa Shepard. I'm a registered dental assistant, author, oral care educator, and founder of care to you Teledentistry Services. I've spent most of my 35 years in dentistry in the Modesto area, first as a chairside dental assistant and then into administration. My love of dentistry and passion combined when I discovered and developed Career Express Dental Assisting School as well as becoming a California Radiation Safety Course and Dental Board CE provider. My real passion lies in oral systemic link and teaching people how what happens in your mouth affects your body and can develop into some serious life-threatening diseases. We know that the oral systemic link is real and lack of oral care is a main contributor not only to small infections such as sinus or ear, but serious life-threatening diseases such as diabetes, cardiac disease, stroke, Alzheimer's, pregnancy complications, many cancers, as well as others. Neglect of these life-threatening diseases can have serious consequences. There are over 700 different pathogens in our mouth, and there are four that are particularly deadly and cause all of this destruction. But today, I wanna to talk about OSA, obstructive sleep apnea, and its relationship to ADHD. Summer is over, and for many of us, school is underway. School can be stressful regardless, but especially when we have a child that is struggling. We have multiple trips to the principal's office for behavior issues or sleeping in class. We find it difficult at home. Working on homework and things can just cause a lot of frustration and that causes a lot of strife and stress in the home environment as well. As children get older, they are often left alone more often and some of these symptoms tend to go unnoticed. We've all experienced allergies or colds where, that have made it difficult to breathe through our noses. These are temporary conditions and do not cause the life-threatening damage that obstructive sleep apnea can often cause. Infants and children typically are going to have an obstructive sleep apnea issue caused by enlarged tonsils or adenoids. However, there are some situations such as obesity, family history, Down syndrome, or cerebral palsy that can also contribute to this serious disease. Breathing problems that can occur during OSA often include snoring, or mouth breathing. And please do not assume that your child is too young as this serious condition can also happen in infants as well. Studies suggest that as many as 25% of children that have been diagnosed with ADHD actually have OSA and their symptoms can cause and contribute to some of these situations such as aggression or hyperactivity when really they're just suffering from lack of sleep and oxygenation. One study at the Albert Einstein School of Medicine in New York followed 11,000 children for six years. And what they discovered was that in 40% of these children, there was a propensity to have hyperactivity, aggression, as well as behavior disruptions as early as the age of seven. There are several symptoms of OSA that we contribute to ADHD that we can see at home, such as mouth breathing while sleeping, night terrors, sleepwalking, bedwetting, failure to concentrate, lack of energy, poor appetite, and general failure to thrive. Other symptoms we may see at school, such as aggression or hyperactivity, poor test scores, trouble concentrating, poor development, social delays, and even sleeping during class. Some issues such as cardiovascular problems, high blood pressure, and developmental delays happen slowly over a period of time, 
and are not as obvious until the damage is well underway. When parents and teachers see these symptoms, they often take a child to a physician. That physician will take a set of symptoms and typically diagnose ADHD and put these children on medications such as Ritalin or Adderall. These are class two drugs and have a very high degree of not only being addictive, but have serious side effects such as malnutrition, hallucinations, panic attacks, nausea, and sometimes even seizures. These class two drugs are in the same category as other stimulants such as cocaine, methamphetamine, fentanyl, and Oxycontin. Another major side effect of not only these drugs, but of mouth breathing is something called xerostomia, otherwise known as dry mouth. When we do not produce enough saliva to wash away the bacteria and debris, we are more susceptible to not only getting cavities, but also gum disease, which can lead to pain, infection, and loss of teeth. Patients with skeletal and developmental delays often have very distinctive looks. Their eyes can be dark, their tissues can be a little bit puffy, and their nasal passages tend to be narrower we are designed to breathe through our nose. There are very small little fibers in our nose that not only heat the air that we breathe, but also help to reduce pollen and debris so that the air that we breathe is cleaner. When we are breathe through their mouth, we lose all this ability to filter out these harmful substances. When we breathe through our mouth, our jaw drops and our tongue drops as well and does not provide the skeletal formation necessary to provide us an adequate width of a palate. So our palates can be very narrow and they can be very high. Typically this is going to be corrected through orthodontics, but in some serious situations it can be corrected through surgical intervention as well. Adults and children have different symptoms when it comes to OSA. Adults tend to be more fatigued, and fall asleep during the day and more lethargic. Children tend to be more aggressive and have some sort of behavior problems or hyperactivity. When our tonsils are swollen and our airway is compromised, there's no wonder that these ch children are suffering. They just don't know it and the parents don't know it and they have a great degree of stress trying to figure out what's going on with their child and many times the child is misdiagnosed as having ADHD. Surgical removal of the tonsils and adenoids is typically the treatment of choice when it comes to obstructive sleep apnea in pediatrics, and that typically will resolve the problem in 70 to 90% of the cases. There are no definitive testing for ADHD. However, there are diagnostic tests for obstructive sleep apnea, and your physician will be the one to determine that. As we have seen, symptoms of ADHD and OSA can be similar. So before we put our children on some of these serious medications, I encourage you to have them evaluated by a dentist that specializes in airway development or get a referral from your physician to an ENT. It is absolutely crucial that we recognize this early and be an advocate for our children, our students, as well as our patients. There is a general disconnect between the dental and medical communities, and I have seen it time and time again. Your dentist is an oral physician and should be regarded as such. There is no medical specialty that can treat and diagnose conditions of the oral cavity the same way that your dentist can. At care to you our mission is to bridge this gap between the dental and the medical communities. It starts with education. If we are going to treat the whole patient, we must educate not only ourselves, but the community at large. Some patients will see their dentist more often than they see their physician. So as healthcare providers, it's important for us, in dentistry especially, to be able to recognize these early signs of conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and even oral cancer, so we can get these patients referred as soon as possible. Early intervention will save lives. So it's more important than ever that patients that have barriers to care that can't get into the dental practice are seen as well. My partners, Nicole Flaherty, 
registered dental hygienist, and Michael Ratto, DDS, and I designed Care to You to eliminate the barriers that we often see as access to care for our patients. Care to You provides diagnostic, preventive, and periodontal services in nursing homes, assisted living facilities, long-term care facilities, churches, community organizations, schools, businesses, and we are proud to say that we are a preferred provider for disabled veterans through the Veterans Administration. We depend on technology to make all aspects of our lives simpler. We can order groceries online, do our banking online, and pretty much anything that we want have delivered on our porch the next day. So why should dentistry be any different? It is no longer necessary to take a day off, miss school, or arrange your schedule when we can bring the care to you. If you would like further information on the topics that we discussed today, or on information on how care to you can provide onset services, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Hi, I'm Darren Kent, your host for Fright Time Theater every Saturday night at 10 o'clock. So email me at DarrenKentMyTV26 at gmail.com. I want to hear what movies you want to see. So I'll see you for Monster Movie Madness every Saturday night at 10 o'clock on my TV 26. Hi, I'm Allie Fields with Juva, and I want to tell you about the products that we have so that you can choose a healthier lifestyle. Today I chose water. And the reason I did that is because our bodies are 60% water and it's very, very important for you to stay hydrated. 95% of the people in the hospital are dehydrated. They may not be there because they're dehydrated, but they are dehydrated. And it's very important for you to have good water. It's essential for your life, your body functions. Uh, water carries nutrients to your cells. And one of the great things about this little pitcher sitting in front of me is that the water that comes in here is ionized, magnetized, mineralized, alkalinized, and energized. And so what happens is what you want to do is get the water to a small, small, little tiny uh, breakdown to where it will uh, get into the cells. The deeper it gets into your tissues, the better off you're going to be hydrated. And because this picture has negative hydrogen, it breaks the blood-brain barrier and becomes an antioxidant as well. Water carries the nutrients into your system and it's very important to have good water. And in the United States, our water is acidic, highly acidic. And as you can see, the bottled waters over here that we think we're doing such a good job on may be clean and they may be pure, but on the scale of the, the pH scale, they're very acidic. And so you may be getting hydration into your body, but it's not getting past the blood brain barrier and you're not becoming as hydrated as you need to. But if you take that same water and use just our drops, your water becomes quite alkalized and immediately you have alkalinized water and because our all water drops are so healthy they also give you electrolytes and so you're just taking bottled water and making it healthy. At home I use this water, the energy pitcher it's called the C7 Energy Pitcher because it alkalizes, ionizes, magnetizes, mineralizes, and uh, energizes your water. Plus now, because this new filter will turn your water into negative hydrogen as well, which is an amazing antioxidant. Therefore, you're getting water that is being carried into your system see and becoming more efficient 
it's even going as deep as your mitochondria. That this water was purified water, it was good water, and I poured it through the pitcher. As you can see, it's also very acidic and now has become very alkaline. Alkaline water is good for you, but it's not the best thing there. You need the minerals, you need the antioxidants. And what you'll find is to keep your body functioning well, you need a good source of hydration. And so what you're seeing is most of the waters you are getting are uh, acidic. And acidic water is not healing your body or hydrating it the way you need it to. In fact, in the United States, uh, it's unnaturally acidic. It's polluted and it's also full of free radicals. Therefore, you need a water source and I would like to suggest that Juva is that source to heal your body, to take the waste out of your body, to bring the nutrients into your body that uh, you are supposed to be getting. And what it also does is it takes your blood from a sticky bunch of clumps and thins them out to where they flow through your system more efficiently. Therefore, you're becoming <clears throat> not only hydrated, but your nutrients are also getting to the um, cells all the way down to the mitochondria. So therefore, Juva water is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best sources you can uh, ingest and get into your system. It's inexpensive, it's portable, so you can take it with you wherever you want. And I say um, tap water is terrible. If you live in the valley, it tastes terrible. But I use tap water right into my pitcher and I drink it straight from there. I don't buy waters unless I'm traveling and I usually take my little all water drops with me and then make them. But if I want them to be energized, I fill my water sports bottle with my Juva energy pitcher. And uh, I would love to see people become more educated about the kind of water they're using to hydrate their bodies because there's so much more to it. Not only does the water help hydrate your system, it also gives you negative ions. And negative ions are the things that uh, take care of inflammation. And so inflammation is critical in today's American lives because they're so full of inflammation and pain. If you would like to know why negative ions are bad or good for you, and you would like to know why our bodies are full of positive ions, then you could give me a call at area code 209-612-4606, or you could go to my website and look at the energy picture that we have, the energy stick, and our all water drops, which would be alleyfields.juva.biz. That is A-L-Y-F-I-E-L-D-S dot J-U-U-V-A dot B-I-Z. And yes, the Juva has to use because Juva is all about you. One of the uh, people that was using Juva water was totally amazed because they had been having headaches consistently and they could not believe that their um, headaches went away the first day they started drinking their water out of my picture here. And so that's another benefit. Another person who has been drinking the water noticed that they weren't having as much acid reflux. And the reason for that was because of the alkalization. Our bodies need to be neutral. And if your body's very acidic, you need to be drinking alkalized water because we want you neutral. Too much acid causes health issues and disease but when you become more alkaline, disease cannot grow in an alkaline situation. If you have an alkaline petri dish, it will not grow a disease. If you can keep your body basic and neutral, 
you're going to see the amount of disease and inflammation in your system dissipate in a very, very quick way in most cases. Another thing that you, you need to know about the, the water is how the antioxidants work. I don't know if you're familiar with how free radicals uh, destroy your body, your body, but because they are becoming more and more free radicals, it becomes a, a missing electron. And so all throughout your system, they're trying to replace that electron. Well, what they do is they rip it right out. And if you look at a, a thistle ball, you see all those little indentations, they start sticking together. And so with all of that, the abnormal cells stick together and they will then grow and grow, attract a blood source and get bigger and bigger. If you are drinking alkaline water, what you're going to see is the negative hydrogen in this water becomes a very powerful source and it can literally stop the actions and heal and or heal a free radical. It has extra new electrons and it just donates them throughout your system. And so what you're having here is just by drinking a good glass of energy water, you're going to be able to have your system be repaired. You're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy. You're, you can see headaches dissipate. You can run farther. You can have all of these advantages in your body. Just by drinking healthy water, you can see your system change in a matter of time. Be sure to give me a call, Allie Fields at 209-612-4606. This is Allie Fields. Thank you so much for watching. Check my website at A-L-Y-F-I-E-L-D-S dot j-u-u-v-a dot biz b-i-z thank you again for watching at this moment in stockton sacramento and san francisco a university of the pacific student has made a decision a decision to learn live and lead with purpose in mind here it's all about moments moments that change lives families communities economies the world at University of the Pacific, these moments give life purpose. They give us purpose, too. After all, we share one future. Join us, University of the Pacific. The reason why I opened Studio Fit 50 Plus is to bring together those people that have some fear of going to the bigger gyms, or maybe they have fear of going to big group exercising. As you can see here, we have limited six, uh, six people, six members to each class, and that's the max that we accept. So it's a small group personal training session. It's closer to personal training than large group training. What you get is specific um, specific instructions on how to perform to increase your performance um, and see progress. A lot of women here have lost weight, they've improved their balance, and they've also improved their cognitive skills, thinking quicker, being able to react when they're, when they're driving. Um, so they have experienced big changes, again, mentally and physically, and the experience of working with a personal trainer. So anybody that's instructing my classes, they are a certified personal trainer, and they are experienced in um, the body mechanics and how to get the best out of um, your exercising. Whatever your weaknesses are, you'll definitely see the progress. This is Crystal, uh, Studio Fit 50 Plus. She is a personal trainer here and she instructs the small group personal training sessions. Again, they're not classes, they're actual sessions where she identifies weaknesses and helps our members here become their very strongest. So tell me what's happening now. So okay, so now they're in the middle of an active recovery, which we do after two rounds of these exercises. After they're done with the active recovery for about three minutes, then we're gonna go ahead right back into each um, exercise, which is a minute and 30 seconds long. And we're gonna do one final lap around. <laughs> and each station is a minute and 30 seconds. 
and they also are encouraged in each station, sometimes there's reps involved, so they are encouraged to know and understand how to work their reps in their workout. If it's a band row or maybe it's a bicep curl, they must understand how to continue to become stronger and not do the same thing over and over again. Another great thing about our stations is that they're never set up the same. So it's not an actual circuit training where you go around in a little circle and you're doing the one, two, three. You are actually having to hunt and find station one, station two, station three. The great thing about that, what I have found, is that the women, they start collaborating and like directing each other's paths. Like, no, 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 you're at number two, not number one. And it's a real good it team a camaraderie within the group itself. So yes. That's awesome. So it's always that same person that knows where everybody's at, and it's kind of fun. And um, they do work in a team effort, and then at the same time experience more of a personal training rather than a group training. So Smart Fit is also included in our stations here at Studio Fit 50 Plus. And what this does is it helps cognitive mindset and increases the blood flow through the brain so you're not only getting a, a physical workout but you're getting a mental workout as well. So as you can see here she's balancing on top of the half dome and she's also having to think of which hands to switch while playing smart fit. Left, right and both. So she's switching hands with the two while balancing and she's already gone through five stations. So mind you, they're a little fatigued and then again being challenged with the brain activity. This is very important as we gracefully age because we definitely need both mental and physical workouts. And what happens is a lot of times this is missed in our regular daily activity because we're so used to doing the same thing over and over again. Brushing your teeth with the right hand, maybe driving the same way home, maybe you go to the gym and you're doing the same workout over and over again. With Studio Fit 50 Plus, each time you come in you're going to get a different workout, a different challenge, and you will also get Smart Fit. Sheila here is standing on a half roller and you can see her ankles moving, working really good for her in regards to keeping her balance. As she keeps her balance, just like she's on a wakeboard. Oh, just hit it? Yep. Green. Or, no, tracking. Tracking. Good. Left hand only. So she's using her less, less dominant hand, her left hand, and she's tracking as she's balancing. So she has two things going on here. The thinking power and the physical power. At Studio Fit 50 Plus, what you get through the stations is modification. So let's say Dina here is a beginner. So Dina, when you first came to Studio Fit 50 Plus, where did you begin? Say on a station like this, right there. So she's able to hold on to the pole, and she can go a little bit slower. And she was able to hold on to the pole because her balance isn't what it is today when she first came the first couple of weeks. Dina uh, was challenged with balance, however, she's a longtime swimmer, isn't that amazing? So through the classes and um, weeks and months of training, she is now so well at her balance, being challenged every time she comes to class in a different way. So modifications are very important, and us trainers here at Studio Fit 50 Plus know how to modify them for the beginner and even the advanced. My background as a certified personal trainer, I worked in the hospital in pulmonary rehab for 15 years. So I truly have many testimonies to share of how fitness can really heal the body. Um, it can also be a good um, motivator to want to live a healthier life instead of having your illness identify who you are you overcome it by the strengths and uh, willingness to perform better in your everyday life as far as being healthy and being fit and just changing a mindset of who you really want to be. And it is possible, no matter what stage of life you're in, it is possible. And at Studio Fit Plus, I have all levels. I have the more advanced. I have women in here that are longtime runners and longtime swimmers. And then I have the
the women that it's their first time ever coming to exercise. Hi, I'm Nancy, and I've been coming here for about well, several months. And I absolutely love this because they will adjust the station exercises to my ability and pushes me to do as much as I can do. And I have more energy and my balance is getting better and I absolutely love it. So I've been working out with Kelly on and off since 2009. Um, in 2009 she did help me lose about 40 pounds in weight. I've been going backwards and forwards going to the gym myself and it hasn't quite worked out so I've gained some weight back so I came back to Kelly. When I first came back I was working out and got a pain in, slight pain in my chest. She stopped me working out. She took my blood pressure. It was, I think it was like two, 190 over 103. So she stopped me working out and sent me straight to my doctor. Um, I did end up eventually in the ER, um, but it was just my medication that needed changing. But thankfully she helped me with that. And uh, she also helps with food and I just think she's a great inspiration. Uh, Kathy Sandner. I started uh, working out here with Kelly when she opened the place. I've known Kelly for a long time and swam with her. And I had also worked with her one-on-one, -on -one, my husband and I, in our home for personal training. So I know it makes a big difference to add this type of a workout to your workout routine rather than just relying on running or swimming or other uh, cardio activities. I participated for about eight months and then I took a break and what I've noticed after taking a break and coming back is it really makes a big difference and I noticed that also when I started it makes a huge difference in your strength and your balance and it's very much worth the time that you put into it and it's a nice addition to any other type of activities that you're doing. So we all work together as a team and we encourage each other and because of it being small group there's more of a, a com camaraderie effect and they have built relationships and that is it.